bringing together scientific experts, business and policy players and future leaders, we imagined what technologies and initiatives might be able to bring about the tectonic shift that we will need to make as a global society if we are to dislodge it decidedly away from fossil fuels. What you will hear are proposals that emerge from the summit, technological pathways that applied over the decades ahead could realistically help deliver a lower carbon energy future in electricity. The core elements of this, the core steps of this process were to start by first asking, what is the future that we want to have? What sort of future are we trying to build for our electrical system, not just what is the path that we are on? The second step then involved examining the cutting edge science and emerging technologies from today and asking how they can help build the fabric of that future. But then most importantly, working backwards from that vision to explore innovative pathways for getting there. Pathways that imagine the transformative sci power of science and technology, but then do the hard work of exploring how to leverage that power through policy, business, social integration. Over the course of a week in June, Wilson, Jatin, and myself were incredibly privileged to lead a great group of individuals through the process. And as with all creative processes, this one really began with getting the right people in the room. We tried to ensure that we had the diversity of people, the international, interdisciplinary, intergenerational group of people that allowed us to create an environment where they could iteratively learn from each other. Now, the three groups you see up on the slide right now uh, represent the diversity that we had. The first was the Forum of Emerging Leaders. Now, these span civil society, business, policy, politics, which gr helped ground the future vision. It's going to be the future leaders' lives that are going to have to be dedicated towards leading this transformation and taking it forward. But this was grounded with an international cast of leading scientists with ideas for specific technologies that could contribute. And finally, the advisors, senior advisors from government, business, and civil society to help us ground how these ideas would integrate with society in the specific contexts. The four days of the summit was an intense pressure cooker. And the scientists presented their ideas and then got poked and prodded by the emerging leaders, by the advisors, to imagine how, in a holistic framework, these ideas might integrate to help us create that future that we want. And then to identify very specific steps. So one of the main objectives of the summit was not just to produce the blueprint report itself, but also to produce tangible action steps we as a group could begin to take forward and hopefully begin to engage you in it. WGSI's interdisciplinary approach convened a unique combination of people to vet through cutting edge science with broad perspectives to apply the science. I was amazed at the incredible exchange of ideas and how the forum challenged the experts' minds. The action-packed workshop generated innovative yet practical ideas and exposed me to possibilities I wouldn't have otherwise been exposed to. This created the opportunity for me to go back to my hometown and transform those ideas into action. And that's exactly what I did. I started off by contacting my utility company and wound up on their sustainability advisory committee. Additionally, I began publishing articles and landed a radio show called Sustainability 101. Shortly after the Equinox Summit, I was offered a teaching position at the Valparaiso University's Graduate School of Business, and I'm designing an intercollegiate sustainability curriculum for the school. Finally, at the beginning of this year, the newly elected mayor of Gary, Indiana, appointed me to be the head of sustainability for the city. Now I'm in a position to implement these ideas generated at the Equinox Summit. I left the Equinox Summit enlightened and empowered. I am, as well as the other forum members, living products of this event. We offer these pathways building out of these technologies as seeds from which social momentum and refined plans can be developed. Future evolution of each technology is, is of course, somewhat uncertain. But our thinking is to begin with an end in mind identify those technologies that have promise and not be constrained by the temptation to follow only where immediate pressures and the easiest, shortest term opportunities may lead. Uh, we began uh, with a model of the global electricity landscape based on the classical generation, distribution, and storage for electricity to help guide the discussion. The discussion quickly evolved into a detailed exploration of the societal context into which transformative technologies 
must be integrated. Shown here is the concept of a low carbon electricity ecosystem. We highlight how a series of technological, economic, and social innovations in different contexts can contribute to transforming how we think about use of energy. Three of the pathways focus on technologies that could help replace our reliance on the burning of fossil fuels for the generation of constant, reliable, baseload power. The deployment of grid-scale battery storage to support renewable energy expansion, the development of enhanced geothermal power, and the accelerated development of advanced nuclear power technologies. The fourth pathway focuses on what we would characterize it as smart urbanization, taking advantage of information and communication technologies coupled with emerging storage technologies, urban transport systems, and use of emerging superconductor technologies to increase efficiency and allow more energy to be delivered per square meter of densely packed, power-hungry city cores. The fifth pathway focuses on the billions who currently have no access to electricity and only limited access to energy sources with high environmental impacts. This pathway encourages the development of affordable off-grid power solutions for energy poor regions. The five pillars of illustrative technologies then are large scale storage for renewable energy, geothermal energy, advanced nuclear power, off-grid electricity access, and smart urbanization. The first three pathways address the need to provide reliable long-term supply in the form of baseload power, which provides the backbone of any large-scale electricity system. The next two pathways address smart urbanization and bringing electricity to the energy poor. 